Hey there fam, I'm back with more Pokemon theories and this time we're going to be discussing the possibility of the Pokemon world being at war and chaos in one specific time frame. So let's start putting the pieces of the puzzle together, shall we? Alright, this is a fun theory, so there are a few things that we need to establish. War has been mentioned quite significantly throughout almost every new region that has come our way. Up to this day, there are six different generations, each with their own region. The latest one in the series, Pokemon X and Y, mentions a war that was ended by AZ 3000 years ago. I am sure you all know the story with his Floed and the ultimate weapon and why he's immortal, right? Good. But what some people don't know is that there is a little bit more to the lore. There are some documents that you can find in Lysander's lab that mentions AZ having a younger brother, who wanted to claim Kalos out of his own greed. After AZ fired the ultimate weapon, his younger brother came into his senses and realized what he was doing was wrong. In order to amend for his mistakes, it was him who buried the ultimate weapon. In summary, a war took place 3000 years before the events of X and Y, a king known as AZ stopped the war using the ultimate weapon, and it's implied that it was his brother the one that was causing all the havoc. Now, let's move to the previous generation and see if we can draw some connections. Unova is full of ancient lore and does in fact mention wars. As of now, there are two that we are aware of. One is a civil war that has no record when it happened, but we know that the source of justice took part of it. Terrakion's Black Pokedex entry says the following. This Pokemon came to the defense of Pokemon that had lost their homes in a war among humans. But the war in Unova that we want to turn our attention to is the conflict between the heroes of truth and ideals. This legend speaks of twin sons of an ancient king who fought over their beliefs of, well, <laughs> you guessed it, truth and ideals. According to the legend, because of their struggle, the original dragon split into two. We know them as Reshiram and Sekram. Evidence of this ancient civilization can be found in a desert resort, in a place we know as Relic Castle. According to its history, this castle was a city built by one of the twin heroes. What I find fascinating is when this civilization thrived. According to Bulbapedia, this castle is at least 2500 years old. Looking at the closest thing we have to an official timeline, we can see that the events of X and Y take place at the same time as Black and White 2, which means that the twin heroes lived almost at the same time when the war was taking place in Kalos. According to this information, there is a 500 year gap. Or is there? Fear not fam, this is why I'm here to do the research. I'm sure you guys remember the Aveso ruins, you can find them in Ondela town. But what kind of ruins are they? Well, if you look at the map description, it states the following. An ancient tomb that is said to be the resting place of an ancient king. This is most likely where the father of the twin heroes was buried. And the biggest connection you can find is the items scattered all around, specifically the relic items. There are many ones that you can find, uh, such as the relic statue and the relic silver. But what is interesting about these items is the fact that they share the same name as the relic castle and their descriptions all go along these lines. A stone figurine made by an ancient civilization about 3000 years ago. If these items are in fact from the relic castle, it will bring us to the same exact point that the Kalos War was taking place, which means we have connected two regions. Both Unova and Kalos were at war during the same time. But what about the rest of the regions? So going down the list, Sinnoh is full of rich lore, but everything mostly focuses on the creation of the Pokemon world. I really could not find any specific evidence that could link us to the time period of 3000 years ago. However, that doesn't mean that we're not going to get new information that could potentially bring it in the mix. This is what happened with Hoenn. Thanks to Auras, I was able to link it to roughly about the same period of time, 3000 years ago. But unlike the other two regions that were at war, Hoenn was facing an apocalypse due to Kyrog and Grodon fighting, plus being bombarded by meteors. In order to connect them, we need to take a look at Xenia and the lore that she shares regarding her people, the Draconids. I can't give you a flat out piece of evidence that says 3000 years ago, however through simple deductions we can figure this out. Let's look at Xenia's quotes. Look, the paintings that cover the walls of this tower, see? This is the history of humanity, of Pokemon and nature itself. 
They are the tales that have been passed down by my ancestors, the Draconids, for thousands of years, and now I will pass it history and lore unto you. Thousands of years ago, in the primal age, long lost, the world was overflowing with natural energy. Primal Grotum and Primal Kyrog fought over that energy in an endless furious clashes. So now we know that the Draconids have been there for thousands of years, and we have record when Grotum and Kyrog fought for the very first time. Rayquaza stopped them, and we know this because Xenia states, quote, That was when, as if drawn by Brilliance, a Pokemon that shone in blazing emerald hue descended from the heavens. That Pokemon was none other than Rayquaza. Rayquaza's power overwhelmed that of the two primal Pokemon, and peace returned to the world. We don't have a specific date when this happened. All we know is that it took place thousands of years ago. However, what Xenia says next can help us out. Quote, the people of Hoenn revered Rayquaza as their true savior. A thousand years after this time, the meteors once again fell. A huge meteor, far greater than any other before, struck the planet, boring deep into the ocean and leaving behind a crater larger than any other. The land born of this event later became known as Utopolis. So now we're getting somewhere. So, 1000 years after the first fight between the primals, a meteor struck. But not only that, according to Zinnia, it was because of this that Grotum and Cairo woke up once more. Quote, The Great Meteor was the first of many disasters to befall humanity. When it punched into the planet, the land cracked beneath it. And a great welling of natural energy poured from beneath Hoenn. Thirsting for that energy, Primal Cairo and Primal Grotum once again woke. And of course, Rayquaza appeared once more to stop them. But this time, there was a very special witness. Quote, Rayquaza once again confronted Primal Grotum and Primal Cairo. The golden filaments that sprang from its body covered the sky, and emerald brilliance illuminated the area. A terrible wind rose. The wind and emerald light visibly sapped the power from Primal Grotum and Primal Cairo. Drained of their primal powers, the two vanished into the depth of the land of the sea. Rayquaza watched them go, regaining its usual appearance. Then it soared back up into the heavens where it dwelt. A witness to this series of events, a tall visitor from a distant land, said, It is the Delta, born of the great disturbances in this world. By the bonds born of mankind's wishes and the power of the stones, it would calm the troubles that plague the world. The witness, a tall visitor from a distant land, has to be AZ. He is referred to as a very tall man, and Kalos would be very far from Hoenn. So let's sort this out. The Draconids are thousands of years old. AZ's story took place 3000 years ago and became immortal after making the ultimate weapon. We also know that he started wandering the planet after the war ended. So the event of the meteor cannot be more than 3000 years old because AC would have not existed to witness the event. The meteor event cannot be less than 1,000 years old because Xenia states, A thousand years of peace followed after this disastrous time. But the Draconid people, learning from their long history cyclical nature, foretold that the meteors would fall on this land again. The meteor to come, they prophesized, would be far greater than those that had come before it. This meteor would be great enough to break the world forever. So, in summary, we have the first fight of Cairo and Grotum. 1,000 years later, their second fight. After that, 1,000 years of peace. So the first primal fight has to be at least 2,000 years old. But because of the introduction of AZ, I think it would fit perfectly if it took place 3,000 years ago. So my timeline would look like this. Horus is the present. 1,000 years before the event of Horus, the Draconids prophesied the coming of a greater meteor. 1,000 years before the prophecy, Grotum and Cairo fought a second time, and AZ was the witness. 1,000 years before the second fight, the first fight took place. This would make sense because AZ comes from a distant land, which means that he would have a 1,000 year frame to reach Hoenn as he was wandering the planet on foot. Wow, that was a lot to take in. But this is what we have so far in summary. Kalos, war 3000 years ago, stated by in-game text. Unova, truth and ideals war 3000 years ago proven by the relic items. Sinnoh, 
no evidence yet. However, a potential remake could provide more lore and evidence to be added to the mix, such as in the case of Hoenn. Hoenn, Kyrog and Grodon fighting for the first time 3000 years ago, speculated by my deductions using Sinia's lore. Now you're starting to see why I call this theory Pokemon World at War. It must have been a crazy time when there was nothing but chaos and wars. But there's two more regions that we have to cover. I hope you're still around and see if we can make some connections. Now we make it to Johto. Unfortunately, there's no evidence of a war. However, we do have records of the oldest civilization that constructed the ruins of Alf. We know this took place 1500 years before the events of Gold and Silver. What happened to this great civilization? We really don't know. Could they have been as old as 3000 years old? Perhaps, but there are no older records so far. But Kanto does mention a war, and because they are neighbors, there is a possibility that Johto was part of it. Kanto, Kanto, Kanto. We made it to you now. You are the reason why this whole debate started. And all because Lieutenant Surge mentioned how his Pokemon saved him from a war. The problem is that we know that Lieutenant Surge is not native to Kanto. In fact, it is implied that he is from Unova. So the war that he mentions could perhaps be the civil war that the Source of Justice took part of. Because I doubt Lieutenant Surge is 3000 years old. Or he could have been sent to Kanto and fight a war there. There are too many possibilities and so far no evidence to support them. So, in conclusion, three out of the six regions have evidence that a global catastrophic event took place 3000 years ago. That included wars and natural disasters such as meteors colliding with the Pokemon world. The other three don't have any evidence of these events in their lore. But I'm really inclined to believe that 3000 years ago, the whole world of Pokemon was at war. There you have it fam, thank you so much if you made it to the end, that was some crazy stuff. I really hope you enjoy this, I'm pretty sure this is my longest theory yet. So show some love by sharing it and liking it. Thank you so much guys, and until next time Pokemon fans.